A public health emergency. That's what some healthcare professionals say will happen when Hahnemann University Hospital closes its doors for good. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joins us live from outside the hospital where a rally is just getting underway. Good afternoon, Joe. Jim, good afternoon. That rally started just about three minutes ago. It includes Hahnemann University Hospital nurses, their union leadership. We are right on North Broad outside the main entrances of the hospital. Behind me right now is City Councilwoman Helen Gim addressing the crowd. We expect to hear from union leadership in just a few short minutes. Now, I'm told this bargaining unit, the unit representing nurses here at Hahnemann University Hospital, will not be going quietly as announced last week as the hospital continues its wind down operation. Now, the hospital 24 hours ago filed for financial protection in bankruptcy court. I'm told that's an attempt to fiscally stabilize St. Christopher's Hospital for Children. Both facilities operate within the same company. Bankruptcy was the latest in what has been a string of significant developments concerning the hospital's parent company, announcing that it would be closing down. The company said it is due to staggering losses of money in its operation here at Hahnemann. The move a couple thousand employees without jobs after the September closing. On Saturday, Hahnemann announced it was downgrading its emergency room designation from a level one and two trauma center. That meant the facility would cease to offer critical care. That has since meant a diversion for emergency services in the city from transporting patients to this facility. We are looking back live right now at the several dozen assembled here on the sidewalk. They've actually taken over the sidewalk here along North Broad Street and Center City. City. Another offshoot to this story, Temple University Health System responding to our inquiries about what's happening at Hahnemann tell us they have the capacity and the ability to treat additional patients in the wake of these developments here at Hahnemann University Hospital. And we were just handed a press release from the Nurses Union, and it goes on to state that the Pennsylvania Department of Health has appointed a temporary manager to oversee operations of Hahnemann and St. Christopher's Hospital for children. So we are working to digest that. We also have our calls out to the Office of Emergency Management to determine exactly what sort of tax has been placed on emergency services across the city because of the impending lack of care here that will be offered at Hahnemann University Hospital. That's the latest live on North Broad. I'm Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thanks very much.